Eric Eli here, and today we're gonna talk about why the winners have unshakable routines, all right? And if you're new to the channel, I help entrepreneurs to scale their businesses by improving their focus, energy, and discipline so that they actually can see their money grow in their bank account. And I help everything from marketing agency owners to coaches to scale from numbers like 2K to 23K in like 90 days. And some has also been able to collect 150K months together with me by improving their performance. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to break down what every single one of these entrepreneurs have in common, all right? They all follow unshakable routines. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you something that will help you with your performance right away today. Before I get into everything, if you're interested in working directly with me and my team, apply for a short call below and we will dig into your performance, no strings attached. So let's get into everything. Most people, they live chaotically, all right? In the spur of the moment, they wake up and they think, what should I do today? And they make decisions based off their emotions and how they feel. Routines is what brings order to chaos and helps you stay on the rail rather than fall out of it, all right? And winners follow routines. If you look back at the most successful people in the history, the people that we refer to as goats, greatest of all time, all, all of them had specific structure in their day and routines they followed. Champions are built on routines. Routines breeds achievement. If you think you can just go with the flow, do what you want, like just know that you will be doing so at the cost of achieving your goals. Achieving goals and big things in life requires planning, preparation, removal of distractions, temptations, hard ass discipline and consistent execution. All right? Routines is what standardizes excellence. Routines will compound your confidence. So when you make decisions to do something and commit to taking even just a small action each day to complete it, no matter how long it takes, you affirm to yourself not only your confidence but to your being to actually see it through you complete it, all right? Starting and taking an action and completing it is an extremely powering feeling and a sense of accomplishment. And that will then compound over time and creates a positive feedback loop in building unshakable self-confidence in your ability to execute. This then shows in all areas of your life, whether it's personal life, business, you just start to move different, all right? In regards to all of that, here come some guidelines that you can start implementing right away to get better routines. Number one, I would like to say plot your sleep, all right? Plot your sleeping schedule. Make sure it's consistent each and every day and make sure that you get at least seven to eight, nine hours. It's very, very simple yet not easy, all right? It's simple but not easy. And believe it or not, to sleep and wake up the same time every day is something that the majority of people and entrepreneurs struggles with. But the rewards of doing so is extremely, extremely high, all right? Without getting into the science behind of it all, this takes you one step closer to having unshakable discipline and getting into that zone where you basically can achieve everything that you want, all right? Number two is a deep downtime. So plot your deep downtime where you can relax and unwind after work, ideally two, three hours before your sleep time. So many people jump from work straight into sleep. You need to give yourself time to reflect on the day, on tomorrow, and lower your heart rate to get the most out of your nightly routine, basically. Number three, I'd like to say morning routine. Make your bed, work out, meditate, visualize, and don't talk to people. Be in your own zone, and this is your zen of state, right? I always say that your day will only be as good as your morning routine. And here's where you truly, truly win the day. Number four, and very important, kill all the bad inputs. And with this, I mean, we live in a modern life, right? We are bombarded every single day, every single time we jump on our phones. It literally takes like three buttons and you will be having a bad input about what's going on in the world or someone who whines about something. And if you let those inputs get into your head, you won't achieve anything, all right? Exclude all of that and don't expose yourself to the bullshit that is out there on social media, all right? Delete IG from your phone, kill your notifications, limit who you talk to and be aware of your surroundings and who you talk to. And if you don't make this choice, someone will do it for you and you'll keep on feeding into bad and, and negative thoughts and a negative feedback loop from people around you.
So make that choice yourself. Now guys, before I round this video up, I'd like to give you some more habit hacks for you to implement so that you can become more disciplined and better in your day-to-day -day life. So number one is work on one thing at a time, all right? When it comes to habit, new habits needs willpower and willpower is very, very limited. So make sure to focus on one thing until it sticks and then you move on to the next. Number two is prepare in advance. So select a trigger that will propel you into that desired action. Time, location, sounds, etc. And I'll talk about this a little bit more later. Environment. Remove the things in your environment that will trigger undesired action. If you find yourself watching Netflix in the middle of the day, throw your TV, for example. Reward yourself. So there's no shame in rewarding yourself compared to what all people online says, all right? Spend one hour watching Netflix, it's fine. Just make sure to use it as a reward mechanism instead of a trigger for a ne negative behavior that most people do, all right? That's the difference. Make a public commitment, write in a group, tell your friends, tell your family about what you're going to do and how you're going to change and what routines you're going to implement. Publicly commit to that and that helps you stay accountable and disciplined. Stick with all of this for 30 days and then repeat it. The compound effect will come into play after 30 days. And it is said that 21 to 66 days it takes to form a habit. So for the next 30 days, make sure to give your all to form these habits and then repeat them every 30 days to make it an automatic default in your day-to-day -day life. And to round this short video up, guys, if you're interested in talking about your performance specifically, go ahead and book a 15-minute call below. And I also have a free group on Facebook with lots and lots of golden nuggets just like these with an amazing community of high performers. So make sure to join that group, take part of the free trainings, and yeah, join that one. It's ericalaya.com slash opt in. And if you like this video, guys, make sure to leave a like. If you enjoy the content, subscribe and comment about what you'd like to see in the future. Thank you, guys.